Hello guys, today we are going to see how to export buy and sell signal by using Python code based on Bollinger Band indicator. We are going to access the data from Google Sheet. This is that um, Bollinger Band indicator. Based on that indicator, we can find the place for sell and buy by using Python code. Before move on the code, the prerequisites are please create the Google service account for accessing the files which are exist in Google Drive. That means we are going to access Google Sheet from Google Drive. So please refer this video for creating service account and give access to the files. Also in the, after give the access to the folder, then create two Google Sheet files with name, stock list and trading list. Then after create that Google Sheet, let's download the latest code from master branch in the github trading logic for setup visual studio code you can refer these two videos after download the code just open the code in visual studio let's see in visual studio code here first we can see some configurations how we are taking some files and that sheet here I'm created one node, so Google service account credential. This is that uh, credential file for accessing the Google service account. I'm keep this file in the source code repo. Whatever place you are going to place this file, just mention that path here. Then this is the uh, setting for uh, how many history data we are going to check for the stock. We created the two Google Sheet file in Google Drive, like stock list and trading list. Then this is the file name for that file and the sheet name this is for trading list let's move on the code this is the code for getting that configuration just be seen export to g sheet then finding the start date based on this configuration just minus the days 500 days minus then we will get the start date then here we are getting the data from google sheet I created new class for getting the stock list. If you like to see in that class, you can go to this file. Then this is the method for getting the records from Google Sheet. This is the line. It will connect the service account we have separate class for connecting to the service account. You can go into this class by clicking the control button and click this G sheet. Here it will connect to the Google service account. Once we get the stock list from the input file, 
from Google Drive. You can see the Google Drive file. This, this is the shared file. I grant access to Google service account. You can refer the ref, uh, videos, previous videos for uh, how to set the Google Sheet account. Here I created that Google Sheet with the name stock list. Here, this is the format we have to follow name, symbol, and exchange. Then I'm going to export the signal for these two stocks. Whatever stocks you need to export, you can uh, mention here. It will take this list of stock. Once we get the stock list, then get the data, the history data from Google Yagu API. Here um, we are concatenating the stocks, multiple whatever the stocks uh, you mentioned in that sheet, it will concatenate that stock list. Then we are passing this stocks into the Yagu API. Then it will get the data here. Here I am getting the data with interval one week. We have to use some indicator before finding the Bollinger Band uh, sell and uh, buy signal. That one is um, SMA, symbol moving average, as well as we need to find upper band and lower band Here we are giving the standard deviation is 20. It will take like uh, uh, 20 bars uh, for calculating this uh, um, data. Here in this loop, it will illust illustrate the stocks one by one. Then once we find this uh, indicators that simple moving average and the upper band and lower band then this is the method we find this signals based on Bollinger band here this is the strategy uh, for finding that um, Bollinger band with standard deviation 20. Here, this is the uh, logic for finding that um, buy and sell signal. Let's see some uh, example. Here, in this picture, here you can see the price is come out of that lower band. So, you, so the, uh, you, we can buy in this place. Then in that cell means here it will come out of that upper band. Then it is the place for cell. Let's uh, execute this code and see how it's work. Before that, let's see the trading list of file. This is that our output file. See, now it's empty. Let's see. Okay. Here, see, it, it, it take the list of uh, stocks. Here it will find uh, it. It will get the history of uh, stock data for these two stocks. Open, close, high, 
date this all details we will get from this method we are creating the classes indicator and uh, signal then here we are going to loop the history data stock um, for each stock now we are illustrating the first stock first we are converting the data to data frame then calculating the simple moving average indicator then upper band and lower band then we are going to find the signal based on bollinger band let's debug inside let's add uh, some watch list and show you okay let's uh, actually from current date to uh, uh, minus 500 days then it's take uh, the date 2021 july 12th here the uh, here now the lower band value is empty it's not uh, calculated because for calculations it will it need 20 barcodes so let's uh, show in that picture this is that stock here it, it is uh, we are getting the data from 2021 july 12th okay Um, from this barcode uh, with one week time frame we are getting the data so for calculating that Bollinger band lower band and upper band and standard moving average we need 20 barcode uh, before that so let's calculate that one two three four five six like that uh, it will um, it will calculate uh, for after from here nest 20 candles it not able to find that lower band and upper band and standard moving average because it's need previous 20 candles for calculating that so for that dates it, it have empty value okay it's start calculating from 2021 november 15th okay from here it start calculating because one two three four five if you calculate it will have 20 candles in middle in, in middle of this one here we are checking the current price close price is lower than lower band then it's it's a buying signal then for uh, closing price is greater than that upper band then it's a selling signal once we calculated that bollinger band signal then we can export the all signals Currently, we are calculating only the signal based on 
the Bollinger Band. In further, we can add multiple signals based on other indicators for confirm our buy and sell signal with many indicators. Here, it, it will get the all signals for trading. Then here, we are writing this signal into trading list Google Sheet. Yeah, it's uh, it's putting. Yeah, clear that memory. Yeah, it's finished. Let's see. Yeah, here it's it's portal. Here in the first column, I bold the first column from code itself. So let's verify the data. Yeah, already opened here. It's telling the date. November 7th, 2022 is a buy signal. Yeah, November 7th, 2022, yeah, buy signal. Let's verify another stock also. Yeah, it's telling April 18th, 2022 is a sell signal. Yeah, April 18th is a sell signal. Thank you guys. See you again. Bye.